Hey, hey, learners, I hope that you are having a great day. We live on planet Earth. Planet Earth is unique because it supports life. Have you ever wondered? How many living organisms exist on Earth? Scientists estimate that there are 8,700,000 living organisms on Earth. That is a huge amount of living organisms. It is thought that scientists have named only 14% of living organisms. This means that Approximately 86% of living organisms still need to be identified. Most of the living organisms that have been named live on land. There are many living organisms that live in the oceans that still need to be discovered. We talk about biodiversity. Bio means life. Diversity means different. Therefore, Biodiversity means that there are different kinds of living organisms. It also means that living organisms have similarities and differences. For example, both a bee and a flower carry out the seven functions of living things. However, they differ in various ways. When we look at living organisms, we try to find differences and similarities. Living organisms may be similar and different according to structure and function. For example, animals are similar because they all move. However, animals use different structures to move. Fish use fins. Birds use wings. Elephants use legs. We can look at another example in plants. Most plants have stems that support the leaves, but different plants have different kinds of stems. Some stems are hard and woody, whilst other stems are soft and herbaceous. Over the centuries, Many scientists have tried to group living organisms in different ways. The method that is used in modern times was devised by Carolus Linnaeus. He lived from 1707 to 1778 inches Sweden. He was a botanist who studied plants. He compared plants and saw how similar and different they are. He developed a way in which plants can be grouped or classified. The system of classification was later used by other scientists to classify animals. Today, scientists group all living organisms in a similar way to that used by Linnaeus. How are living organisms grouped? Generally, living organisms are grouped in this way. Firstly, a distinction is made between prokaryote and eukaryote celled organisms. These groups are called domains. The next level is called the kingdom. There are five kingdoms. The kingdoms are divided into divisions or phyla. Plants are divided into divisions whilst all other living things are divided into phyla. The next groups are the classes that are divided into families. Families are divided into various orders. The orders are divided into genera. The smallest groups are the species. This diagram is called a hierarchy. A hierarchy shows how the largest groups are divided into smaller groups. The largest group in this hierarchy is the group of living organisms. The smallest group in this hierarchy is the species group. Naming living organisms a living organism belongs to different groups of living things such as plants or animals, vertebrates or invertebrates, fish or mammals.
The individual living organism is called a species. The species belongs to a genus. This hierarchy shows the scientific classification for humans. Kingdom Animalia Phylum Chordata Subphylum Vertebrata Class Mammalia Order Primates Family Hominida Genus Homo Species Sapiens you can see that humans belong to the genus Homo and the species Sapiens. The genus and species are always written either in italics or underlined as shown here. In grade 7, you will learn about the five kingdoms of living organisms. The five kingdoms are Kingdom Monera. These are the bacteria and are the only living organisms that have prokaryote cells. Kingdom Protista. These are microscopic living things that usually are unicellular and most often live in water. Kingdom Mycota. These are also called the funky and include mushrooms and bread molds. Kingdom Plantae or the plant kingdom. These are living organisms that can photosynthesize. Kingdom Animalia or the animal kingdom. These are the living things that need the plants for oxygen and energy. Let us summarize what you have learned in this lesson. There are 87 million living organisms on planet Earth. Many living organisms have not been discovered and named. Biodiversity means that there are different kinds of living organisms. Living organisms are grouped or classified according to their similarities and differences. Carolus Linnaeus developed a system for the classification of living things. Carolus Linnaeus lived in Sweden and was a botanist. Living organisms are classified into different groups. The smallest group is the genus and the species. The genus and species of a living organism is written in italics or underlined. In grade 7, you will learn about the five kingdoms of living organisms. The five kingdoms of living organisms are Kingdom Monera. Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Mycota, Kingdom Plantae and Kingdom Animalia.